I ask you to join me in prayer. Dear God, you created me to be an expression of your divine hope. Being that expression of divine hope to my family and friends blesses me and them. Oh, how I pray that I can be a blessing to others. You, God, created me to be an expression of your divine hope. My thoughts are orderly today, and they are based in your divine hope. In divine cooperation, my actions reflect the wisdom of my thoughts that you give me, God. God, you created me. And knowing that all good is given to me by you, God, I share it willingly. I share it generously with others. Dear God, you created me to be an expression of your divine hope. And I express this by understanding that radiant hope is the perfection of my mind. It is the perfection of my body. You give expression to it right now in me spiritually beginning right now. Knowing who you are and who you created me to be, I go forth this very day. I go forth this week and this year fulfilling my purpose, giving expression to my life by your hope, living in your faith, knowing without a doubt in human mind my belief, and acting in love. I pray in the hope of God. I do not rest in despair. This prayer is a wondrous state. Within prayer, God, I feel your presence. In the strength of love and the assurance, I know that I am seen and known by you, never unnoticed by you, God. Here, in this prayer, I have a sense of belonging that transforms my sense of self into a greatness of your purpose. There is before me a godly vision of what is to be. In this reality that heals in this reality that renews, in this reality that inspires and gives direction to my life. Within this kingdom of God, there is a sense of belonging, and I know that I am chosen to fully experience the nature of your goodness my dear God. The kingdom of God is felt within me now in the silence of prayer. My dear God, wherever I may be in this outer world of things and events, I always remember that I stand on your foundation and on your truth. Wherever I may be, I know that you created me and direct me to a divinely appointed time and place and event of my life. Nothing is to be feared 
but everything is to be embraced knowing that I am not alone in embracing it. I am chosen in this moment to fully experience the nature of God's goodness in hope. In hope I rest in God, in the silence of prayer. Hope is the foundation that I stand on in my life. Hope is the assurance. There lives within me a ray of hope, far greater, comes into my life because of you in my life. My hope has not been wished for, but arises from a sense of what is to be. The greater is not a fantasy, but a reality. To be nurtured with trust and with confidence in you. As Jesus lived to honor this truth within him and within us, so I seek to honor this same reality in me. It calls my attention to the sense of something very good and the true nature of my nature. Now, again, in the silence of prayer, I ask you to come into my life, move in my life. Give me a transfusion of your power into my weakness. I know with you, God, that I was created wise. I was created caring. I was created strong and confident. And your creation is truly good. I am growing to be fully human and fully alive. And yet, beyond personal self, I sense a whole new dimension in you. Where I may in the past have felt or believed that I was cut off from all my good, I pray a personal prayer that during this moment I have a permanent deeper recognition of the help of God and the ultimate good and my ultimate hope In oneness, dear God, I completely, I totally accept the gift of being. I live wisely, and I live lovingly, I live confidently, and I live in your joy. Christ in me, the hope of glory. In the nature of Jesus Christ, we pray today. Amen.